All right guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to stream from your Xbox console to your Xbox app on Windows 10, and then streaming that to Twitch TV. And then I'm also gonna be showing you how to add overlays using OBS and streampro.id. And I'm pretty sure that's about it, so sit tight and we'll get through it all. So what we're gonna do, as you can see, I'm on twitch.tv, so I'm going to go here to OBS, which is a free downloadable streaming tool. And I apologize, it looks kind of weird, but it mirrors your uh, screen, so that's why it adds like a thousand screens, endless. So here we are, and then here's my overlays that I've set up. So I'll go through that first, and then we'll go through the actual streaming process. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to Stream Pro. .io, not ID, I apologize. Streampro.io. So we'll actually just go to the actual website first to show you what it looks like. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here and you're going to uh, connect your Twitch account. And then it should load here. There you go. So um, your first time you're gonna have to log in using your Twitch and then you like manage your donations down here or Reset your widget values like that'll be once you actually create one So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit create new overlay and I already have one up So I'm just gonna show you that one. So if you have one already you're gonna go to edit See now what we're gonna do here is mine and these are widgets Top donation widget, latest follower widget, uh, current viewers widget. This is your actual live Twitch chat widget. And here's where you're going to put uh, your video. And here's where I just put my name down there. And then here's where the actual gameplay is going to be. And here you have subscriber alerts, which we can test. So it'll make a little noise pop up, you know, and then new donation. You can has all that you know it makes your stream look very professional and again this is all 100% free so you can do that themes you can just go through some of the themes or you can create your own so it completely is up to you and then here's some of your widgets like I said I have the ones that say added obviously but there's a ton of extra ones you have on here it's completely up to you so it'll take a little bit of time but uh, Eventually, you can get a very professional looking stream without really any effort um, because this does it all for you. Okay, so I will also show you real quick how to download OBS just because um, you will need that for this. So, all you do is you go to obsproject.com, download OBS Studios. All you do is you click which one you're on. I'm on Windows 10, so you're going to hit Windows 10, uh, Windows 7 Plus, and it will automatically start downloading. You use the installer, you install it, and there you go, you got it. So there's that. So now, once you got your overlays all set up and happy, you're going to go to, um, well, first you're going to save changes and exit. Then you can either launch it which sometimes messes up your widgets that I found, so I don't really like to do that. Um, you're gonna hit edit again, starting fresh. And then what you're gonna do is, without kicking anything, you're gonna go to overlay URL down here, all right? So you're gonna copy and paste that, then, or just you're gonna copy it. And then you're gonna open up OBS. You're going to add a browser source. So you're just going to go down here to Sources, Browser Source, which is right here. You're going to click on that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to right-click it, go to Properties, and then right here on this URL, you're going to post, you're going to paste it. Now, your, as you can see here, your Stream Pro is going to be preset to a specific size. So when you originally create a browser source this will be a lower value but you want to make sure it's the exact same one as your stream pro so mine as you can see is 1920 times 1080p 
So we are going to make the width 1920 and 1080. Super easy. Then these two, you're just going to keep the same. So you're going to hit OK. And then that will then, as you can see, it goes black, but then it will load in your streampro.io overlay. So there you go. You have your overlay. It's all good. Um, so as for setting up what you're going to actually stream. So now that we got that out of the way, let's head into how we're going to stream it. So you're going to go to display capture. Okay. And that all it's going to do is going to capture what's on your screen. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you can see this is just blank. So you're going to hit that display capture and it's going to pull up a, a separate window. And all you're going to do, let's make sure it fits right. There we go. Maybe. Okay. Close enough. So you're going to pull up that window and then all you're going to do is you're going to resize it to fit in that block. Or however big the block is that you made. This is just how happens to be how big mine is. And then down here, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. that can happen, so watch where you're clicking. <laughs> um, and then down at the bottom right, obviously, this just is a camera. And that right there is dictated by my video capture device. So when I'm actually streaming, I use a webcam that is by my monitor. And I plug that into my computer, but since I'm just using my computer, I'm just using my actual like computer webcam. So that'll change here, and you can change like which audio you're taking in, like if you have a mic or if you're just using your internal microphone. Like right now, I'm literally just using my laptop, so this would have different options. And then your video capture device, that would have different options. Like I'm not sure if it'll show it. No, it doesn't. But normally, your device it would show whatever's on there, so it would be like webcam or whatever. And then the desktop audio, that is completely up to you um, if you want to keep that on. But for streaming, like if you're streaming this way using your Windows 10 app, you're going to have to have your computer volume up while playing um, or else they won't be able to hear the gameplay because it's going to be streaming through your computer. So let's jump into that portion. So we're going to open up the Windows 10 uh, Xbox app. There we are. Okay, so what you have to do now is you have to connect right here. So we'll just, I'm already connected. So go down here to connection or there'll sometimes be a little widget right there on the, on the main screen and you're going to connect your Xbox One. So your Xbox One has to be on, it has to be um, like active um, but as soon as you connect it, really easy, it recognizes the device, you just add it to your Xbox app. So, then you're going to get this option to stream. That is what you want to do. So you're going to click stream, it'll pull up this page. Okay, so there's two ways you can do it. There's a decent, there's like a few millisecond lag when you're doing it this way. If you're playing from your computer, because you can actually play through your computer, which is nice. Um, but like I said, I actually use my monitor and I just change up the way I'm, like I use my webcam and I use a different microphone. So you can either plug in your controller to your computer using that USB, um, the USB like cord that plugs into your controller to charge it or whatever you have or you can just use it on your Xbox it depends on what game you're playing if you're playing like a first person shooter like Call of Duty uh, the millisecond lag can make a difference I actually played that way and it's not that big of a difference especially if you're only playing public matches but I would not advise playing any competitive matches that way because those milliseconds do make a difference but if you're just playing like I don't know an open world game or just you know, a story mode on anything, it really shouldn't matter too much because, like I said, it literally is only a few milliseconds. So, I don't have a controller attached to my PC. Um, the one time I did it, I had it just playing through my Xbox, and it was it was fine. So, we're going to continue. And as you can see, we're streaming. Oh, my controller died, so it's dead. Not, it didn't die, it just turned off. So, there we go. So, as you can see, 
this is connected to my Xbox, which is across the room, and I am controlling it, which is pretty cool. So I'm literally just playing on my Xbox. Now to stream, this is all you're gonna do. You're gonna hit Control Alt Tab, because if you just X out of it, or if you go to another thing, you're going to stop streaming on your Xbox. So you're gonna go to Stream Pro, or not Stream Pro, I apologize. You're going to go to um, your OBS. So now that you got your OBS, you're going to, uh, like this is where your gaming is gonna show up. So I can try to show you that here. Yeah, do you see, I'm, and it's kind of really small in that bottom right corner, but you can see that YouTube and like my whole thing is down there. So that's what your viewers are going to be seeing. They're, they're just going to see your overlay and you're just going to see this screen. And if you have a webcam, a webcam. So you're going to go to here, you're going to go to Twitch. Okay. Now what you're going to do to actually stream to Twitch is you're going to go to um, channel and then you're gonna go to dashboard, and then you're gonna go to stream key, okay? I'm not gonna show you my stream key, but all you would hit is show stream key, and that is, just, you're just gonna copy and paste it, and then to OBS, you're going to go to, um, not browser source, I'm trying to remember. Oh, settings, here we go, sorry about that. Settings, then you're going to go to stream, and then you're just going to paste your stream key right there. All right, and then you're going to select your services Twitch. So that will uh, connect your OBS and whatever is showing up on your OBS straight to Twitch. So you can hit OK. And then we can go back over to Twitch and go to live. See, right now I'm offline. And what you're going to do in OBS, so you have your Xbox streaming, you have your Twitch key, or your stream key, you have all your overlays set up, everything's good. So you're going to go to this thing called, well, this would say start streaming, but I'm actually streaming. So you would hit start streaming, and then what you should see is we're going to go to Twitch, and it should be playing. We're going to go to right Twitch. there, which is kind of weird because you're hearing double me, so I'll mute that and I'll whatever. So that obviously um, streams straight to Twitch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop streaming just because that was a um, example. But that's how easy it is, guys. And honestly, it's a super fun way to play. It's an easy way to stream, it's an easy way to do anything, and you can literally do it like normal. Like, I'm literally just focusing on this. I just clicked Oblivion because I was like the first game on there. But you can play, you can stream to your viewers. The only complication is if you do not have, hold on one sec. Mute my other TV so you can't hear triple of everything. But the only uh, difficulty with this is you're not going to be able to hear your um, in-game audio. You're not going to be able to hear, um, not the in-game audio, your party chat audio. I apologize. So your party chat audio, I have yet to figure that out. If you know, please leave a comment. Um, that's a big issue that I'm having with it. Um, so the party chat audio, and then also... Um, the, the lag that I was talking about. that Those are really the only two bad things about it. Um, when it comes to monitoring your stream, however, um, you're gonna need two monitors. So you can um, monitor your stream on one and then stream on the other. That's pretty self-explanatory. If for some reason you don't have two monitors, you can always use the Twitch app on your phone to monitor your, uh, to monitor your chat or even monitor your viewer account if you don't have that widget i would recommend having that widget because that just lets you know when someone enters so even if you can't monitor your chat or you're having difficulty or you're like mid game and you're just whatever if you see that number change you can just say welcome whatever um 
But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you have any other questions or if I left something out, please let me know. Um, if you did like the video, if I helped you out, please uh, like and subscribe. And I'm pretty sure that's it, guys. So have fun streaming, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.